the reaction of the stock does not seem to line up with the results that you guys announced, the expansion in enterprise, performance of your team's product. Do you think this reflects the, the lockup expiration and perhaps some people who hadn't been able uh, to sell shares now having the chance? John, it's a fair question. Uh, we were thrilled with our earnings report for Q4. 2018 was a transformational year for the company where we re-accelerated revenue, generated really robust cash flow, went public. Uh, we're a 19-year-old company. We have had uh, a lot of private shareholders for a long time, and the lockup expiration uh, could well contribute to some of the selling supply today. But I'm super confident in our, in our long-term focus, and if we deliver results, I know shareholders will profit as well. You called out SAP's purchase of Qualtrics uh, now in progress on your call, saying you expect that that's going to result in an opportunity for you to pick up share. How much of SurveyMonkey has now pivoted to this enterprise growth model where it's just as much about being able to create data on what's happening inside an organization that allows you to get more efficient? Yeah, it's a great question. So if you look at our business today, we have over 647,000 paid customers who sit inside of 345,000 different organizations. Our business on the enterprise side is in hyper growth mode. So we grew our new bookings 80% year over year. We booked our first $10 million quarter, our first million dollar customer, and we signed up 11% more customers in the quarter alone than we had uh, all these years. So we've got a lot of traction with a really world-class leadership team. You know, we're a super disruptive uh, survey software for the enterprise. Um, we have a large footprint inside of so many companies where we have not been bought at a corporate IT level. These organizations in this environment need that secure collaborative software that we offer, and our open integration strategy has proven to be a winner. So it's a really competitive market, but it's a huge multi-billion dollar global market. Our largest uh, competitor in Qualtrics just sold to SAP. I think that opens up a lot of greenfield for us as they steer into SAP's business. We're steering more into the Microsoft and Salesforce ecosystem where we see a lot of room to grow in customer experience management, HR, and market research. Xander, you're the CEO of a tech company. Um, we've just been covering this news, this breaking news about Amazon pulling out of its HQ2 here in New York City. Uh, given what seems to be some shifting sentiment, at least some lawmaker, by some lawmakers here, some of the discussions we've seen come out of the West Coast and Silicon Valley as well, how would you gauge uh, business sentiment in terms of uh, expanding and where you do so. Yeah, you said it. I mean, it is so critical to understand the sentiment and voices of the people who are your constituents. Whether it's your employees or your customers or you're doing market research, trying to understand these really dynamic environments, understanding the voices and opinions of the people who matter to your business is critical. And so I too am surprised, like the discussion you just had about Amazon pulling out there, I think the reaction and how quickly that's changed in just several months has been very surprising. It just highlights the need that your gut, you know, your gut instinct is helpful, but what's really helpful is actually collecting the opinion data of the people who matter to you. If you're trying to launch a new product or do a new <laughs> campaign test or understand where to expand and what the reaction will be like from the community Way to or bring government. that uh, back around. Xander Lurie, CEO of SurveyMonkey, uh, thank you.